Hi, welcome to Great Everyday Italian Wines. My name is Gary Grunner. And my name is Bob Lipinski. Today we're going to talk about indigenous grapes. ABC, anything but Chardonnay and Cabernet. Sometimes it's really important to try to change what you're drinking with your meals and try to discover new opportunities. Italy has 20 regions. It's over 2,000 different grape varieties, which means there's so many different opportunities to try different things. So today we're going to talk about a couple of new opportunities for when you go out to your wine shop or your local restaurant and look for something different with your meal. So Bob, let's go through these real quick. Okay. First is Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo is the grape used to make Barolo and Barbaresco and also Gattinara. It comes from the region of Piedmont. The second indigenous grape is Sangiovese. Although its home is in Tuscany and also Emilia Romagna, it grows all over the 20 regions of Italy, but Sangiovese. The third is a grape called Garganica. Even though the label says Suave, Suave can be made from a grape called Garganica. It grows nowhere else except the region of Veneto in the northeast. The next the grape is called Alianico, which is actually a Greek grape going back to about the 8th century called Elenico originally. And it comes basically the southern region of Campania or Naples and one or two Basilicata. And Alianico is becoming more and more famous because of its body, its richness, and its depth. Another great wine to discover. One of the three great reds. One of my favorites, Barbera. Barbera is a great variety. It really excels in Piedmont. If you like pasta, you like pizza, anything red tomato sauce, this is mine. I fell in love with this, especially with New Year's Eve, Banya Calda. Incredible Barbera. Now wait, the interesting thing about Barbera, we've gotten to a lot of wine tastings that were brown bag, you know, they don't tell you exactly what's in the wine. And we've picked and we've chosen the Barbera, sometimes over wines that were four or five times more expensive. It's an incredible grape. A lot of people in Piedmont, a lot of Piedmontese, they, that's the grape of choice. That's the wine of choice. Absolutely. And it pairs well with a lot of different things. So if you're a Cabernet drinker, or let's say if you like big, bold, rustic Merlots, which they do exist, especially out of Washington State, that's something that you're really going to like. In the region of Veneto, going back, uh, we have a grape called Corvina. Corvina is the grape used to make Amarone, Bardolino, and Valpolicella. Very rarely will you find a varietal Corvina, but we have a Corvina here. No. Last but not least, the grape of Tuscany, Vernaccia di San Gimiano. Actually, one of the favorite wines of Michelangelo. It's the name of the grape variety. San Gimiano is the town, incredible location in Tuscany. Beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. Please, you know what? If you're out there and you discover something, email us at Great Everyday Italian Wines, and we hope you enjoy today's session. Follow the day.